Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Pastor Karita Bagara, the Deputy Bishop of Christ is the Answer Ministries. Today, I want us to start on a series from the book of Jonah that looks at God's love. In chapter 1, we find that there is a contrast between the love of God and the patriotism that is found in Jonah. What we find is that in chapter 1, verse 1 and 3, or to 3, the Bible says, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Talshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. And paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Talshish to free from the Lord. Two things that I want to note here. God is concerned about his people. And he's concerned about the people of Nineveh. Although they are sinners, he loves them very much. And he wants to give them an opportunity to hear his message. And he wants Jonah to be the person that is going to take that message. Jonah is to go and tell them that they have sinned so that they can turn to God. But on the other hand, Jonah is not seeing God's love. Instead, he misunderstands God's love for God's hatred, perhaps for his people. Why? The people of, of Nineveh, who are the Assyrians, were very cruel to the people of Israel and had mistreated them. And so for Jonah to be asked to go, he must have interpreted this uh, as God being insensitive to the feelings and to the things that were happening in the lives of the Jews that had been mistreated by the Assyrians. And therefore, he decides to run away. And from this, we are able to see that when we misunderstand God or when we place our thinking above the thinking of God, we are most likely going to misunderstand him, miss on his purposes, and miss on his desires, and we will chase our own goals. But the good thing is this, that God's purpose will not be frustrated because of us and will not be stopped because of us. So if you read chapter 1, you will find that Jonah goes and pays uh, the, uh, the ship boards and they sail off and when they are sailing we are told he went down and started sleeping. A false sense of security is upon him. But while he is having this false, of, uh, I mean, false sense of security God causes a storm to arise in the sea and the end result is that Jonah is actually thrown into the sea uh, because God wanted him to still go back to uh, Nineveh. And Jonah is swallowed by the fish that God provides and he ends up in the place uh, where he was supposed to go. This tells us that God's love for his people is immeasur immeasurable. Maybe we can say it is endless, endless love. But our thinking is so limited, sometimes so fickle, but we think it is wiser than the wisdom of God. And from the story, the narrative that we have here of Jonah, I think God is communicating to us that when he gives us something to do, we must take it with the seriousness that it deserves. And it should be to such an extent that anything else we are thinking about becomes of secondary importance. So the question that I would want to pose to us today is this. What is it in your life that has come up in, and it appears to be so important to you and because of it, it is causing you to disobey God and to go contrary to what he would expect of you? You need to repent of that before God sends a storm your way and you have to suffer like Jonah had to suffer at least for a period where he is also hopeless because he doesn't know what is going to happen. I want you to continue thinking about this as God continues to reveal his purposes 
and his will for our lives. Let me hear what you think about what I have said using the social platforms that are listed here below. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.